Now, uh, what is colorectal cancer? Colorectal cancer is a cancer of the uh, uh, large intestine, which includes your colon, which includes your uh, the bottom part, the 15 centimeter, which is called rectum, as well as the appendix. Uh, how does colorectal cancer form? They usually arise from small, tiny little polyps that are precancerous, and some of these lesions over 10 to 15 years turn into cancer, and that's, I think, where the opportunity is to be able to screen and catch it before it turns into cancer. Ontario has amongst the highest rates of colorectal cancer in the world. And colorectal cancer is uh, the second most common cancer death after lung cancer. Probably every year, somewhere around uh, 8,000 people in Ontario get diagnosed with colorectal cancer. And uh, 3,000 or so of them would unfortunately pass away from colorectal cancer yearly. Now, the good thing with colorectal cancer is that it is an uh, easily curable disease. If you catch it early via mechanisms such as screening, 90% of the patients can be cured. Uh, things like if you have blood in your stool, if you have change of color of your stool, darkening of the stool, change of bowel habits compared to your norm, if you have abdominal pain that is unexplained, if you have um, uh, fatigue or an unexplained low blood count, for example, would be another warning sign. Um, uh, unexplained weight loss is a very common thing to see in the elderly and you worry about colorectal cancer. And, um, and, and then uh, the common question that is asked is, well, my doctor does a rectal exam for me. Isn't that screening enough? and that is not the screening that you require for colorectal cancer. That is an important test for other types of cancer, such as prostate cancer, but not good enough for colorectal cancer. Now, some people say, well, you know, I don't want to be screened because I uh, feel well, I have no symptoms. And, uh, and I think that's where the fallacy comes in. By the time you develop symptoms, it's sometimes too late. We still will be able to help you somewhat, but we may not be able to cure you from your disease. And thus, the idea is to be able to catch it before you develop symptoms, when you're completely asymptomatic. Uh, once you're confirmed that you have colorectal cancer, now your treatment journey of your cancer starts. And typical, like, typical for colorectal cancer as well as other cancers, uh, your, uh, your treatment is a multimodal treatment, which is, includes surgery by removing the cancer, uh, as well as uh, uh, treatments such as drug treatments similar to chemotherapy and or radiotherapy. And the aim of those treatments is to decrease the either stop or slow the growth of the cancer cells that are not within the area that have been operated on or just outside of that area or throughout your whole body. Uh, there is uh, uh, lots of resources available out there for um, information on colorectal cancer. Your best uh, uh, ally or resource would be your primary care physician. Um, and uh, alternatively, you have uh, those uh, cancer care, can colon cancer check kits available from uh, your uh, licensed local pharmacist and Telehealth Ontario if you contact them. And as for colorectal cancer as a whole, there's lots of information out there and uh, websites such as Cancer Care Ontario, for example. Uh, Colon Cancer Check is another website, as well as Colorectal Cancer Association of Canada are other uh, very well done websites that are quite informative and helpful. And as always, speak to your physician.